Victor and Rolf are masters of their craft, especially when it comes to literally turning things upside down. From the magical mind-blowing glamour pieces of last season, which turned into fabulous sculptural sartorial outfits, and the unforgettable and unique wearable art of 2015, which we'll definitely talk about today, this spring-summer 2023 haute couture season, the duo has turned to a classic, feminine, yet surreal aesthetic. One way to answer the increasingly hackneyed question of whether fashion counts as art, is to determine whether it should hang on the wall or dress the body. And in their 2015 collection called, Wearable Art, Victor Horsting and Rolf Snoring demonstrated the integration of articulated frames into coats, dresses and narkas, transforming models from outfits into works of art, from portrait collars to abstract portraits. While their peers have been known to resist the title artist, perhaps for fear of being pretentious or, worse, fashionable, Horsting and Snoring seem always to have been intrigued by exploring how formalism and absurdity combine to create something unconditionally artistic. The designers presented the audience with a blue robe dressed in what appeared to be a white canvas frame and all plus polished oxfords. However, the fabric was actually linen paired with white crepe, and the image fragments that began to materialize on Look 8 were laser-cut jacquard, complete with embroidery and applique to achieve relief. According to Horsting and Snoren, the point was to express painting the action in an impassioned manner, not to identify their interpretation of The Threatening Swan, by Janice Elaine, circa 1650. When a fleshy hand stuck out of a deformed canvas, a dress sailed through a frame, or a Dutch Golden Age dance carelessly cinched at the waist, their conceptual perfectionism became worthy of its own movement. All the while, the designers acted as performance artists, methodically removing their work from a number of models and hanging it on the vast white wall. The speed of the installation was impressive by any measure, from a tiered dress to a triptych within minutes. The last view represented the most extreme construction and the most finished work of art, a Dutch still life on a moving model. It's crumpled, Splattered and suspended structure gave the impression of a masterpiece that had been rescued from a trash compactor minutes late. Fortunately, these creations will not suffer a similar fate, the venerable art collector Han Nufkens has once again promised to purchase them, which he will subsequently donate to the Bayman's van Buningen Museum. Except that the work can no longer be worn in the exhibition, it becomes art for art's sake, and as such, when the time comes, it will sell for more money. Always provocative and conceptual, the pair presented an inspiring collection that was a parade of dreamy designs. Entitled Spring Summer 23, Waltz at the Late Stage of Capitalism, the exhibition referred to the heyday of the mid-20th century, when silhouettes changed dramatically. Fashion has always been part of a person's personal and cultural identity, defining people and generations, it is the measure of aesthetic and cultural progress pursued by decades of different trends and styles. The mid-20th century marked a renaissance in fashion and a timeless memory in history. The strict silhouettes of the 40s gave way to new feminine shapes with narrow waists and full skirts, a trend that set the tone for classic and timeless looks then, and now. Christian Dior's new look influenced softer shoulders, corseted waists, and fuller, longer skirts held in place by flared, rigid petticoats. The corset was a necessity in a woman's closet, as the ideal body shape in that era was considered an hourglass, figure eight. Provocative and sexy strapless dresses required strapless bras, and every stylish woman had them. Dresses became ultra-glamorous and stylish under the influence of movie status icons. High women's fashion became luxuriously feminine low-cut evening gowns, and strapless dresses made of taffeta, 
lace, netting, tulle, chiffon and satin. And so Victor and Rolf, with their skillful cutting-edge couture, presented an unconventional twist on the traditional debutante ball gown. In a luscious palette of almond shades, an exquisite parade of full-skirted gowns glided through the ballroom. From the frothy, full-skirt crinolines to the masterful corsets with boning, this was haute couture craftsmanship at its best. Things are never what they seem with this clever design duo. One might have expected a further development of last season's intricate sartorial looks. Nevertheless, viewers were presented with Victor and Rolf's sublime take on the traditional ball gown. It was a surprise to see the first silhouette floating cautiously through the ballroom, a vision in a subtle lemon sherbet, one could be forgiven if they thought it was a bit luscious for Victor and Rolf. There were several dresses in layered iterations of a wedding cake with pleated tears released strategically to ensure fullness without distorting the fine lines. The stunning gown, carefully crafted to perfectly fit the model's feminine shape, the dropped waist gilded with a small tie finished with an inconspicuous bow, was perfection. Each silhouette was adorned with a luxurious corset, accentuating the feminine waist and hourglass shape. But just when everyone had time to enjoy the beauty of these first looks, the Cinderella clock began ticking, counting down to midnight, and dresses appeared, tightening the model's torsos at oblique angles like a clock, including one dress carefully flipped at 360 degrees on the model. This silhouette required cues from the audience. But there were others, so incredibly controlled that they were one with the body, not just an object carried. It was all mesmerizing, transporting the viewer to another era, where life was a bit luxurious and women dared to be women. Judging by the audience's size and applause during the closing of the exhibition, everyone loved this collection. As the saying goes, things are never what they seem. Thanks for your watching and for your subscribing. Your Valerie